let's take a look at how to multiply two mixed numbers. Multiply, simplify your answer, and write it as a proper fraction or as a whole or mixed number. Okay, so when we're multiplying two mixed numbers together, this is a little bit different than adding. You cannot just multiply the number parts, the whole number parts, and the fraction part. You have to convert them first. So make sure that you're converting these to mixed numbers before you multiply. Okay, because we have to make sure we're multiplying that whole thing, nine and three quarters, by the whole other number, two and three quarters. So convert to, I'm sorry, from a mixed number to a improper fraction. Okay, so to do that, to take nine and three quarters, for example, and to write it as a improper fraction, well, nine times four would give me 36. So that would be nine times four or 36, and then you add the top, which would give me 39 out of four. Okay, so another way to look at this, if we say nine times four, right, that's basically saying 36 out of four would represent my nine, right? Notice if I divided that, I would just get nine, and then we're adding the top number on, right, which was three out of four. So the quick, easy way is to say multiply the whole number by the denominator, right? That gives us 36, or what the fraction part was for the whole number out of four. And then we have to add the numerator here to get the extra 3 fourths. So altogether, 39 fourths. Okay, let's do the same thing here. Let's rewrite 2 and 3 quarters as an improper fraction. So if I multiply 2 times 4, I get 8 plus the extra 3 gives me 11 out of 4. And again, if I did that a little fast, basically when we say 2 times 4, that means that our 2 could have been written as 8 out of 4, right? If we just simplified that, 8 divided by 4 would give us 2. And then we had another 3 fourths. So we're just adding them together. 8 plus 3 gives us 11 out of the 4. All right, so really to work this out, I want to think of it as 39 over 4 times 11 over 4. And I want to see what that gives me as an answer. Okay, now you might need to do a little bit of work here since 39 and 11 are a little bigger. You can write it out like this and say, okay, 39 times 11. Well, 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 3 is 3. And then I would put the 0 in the 1's place before I multiply by the 1 in the 10's place. 1 times 9 is 9. And 1 times 3 is 3. And then if I add up my columns, right, 9 plus 0 gives me 9 in the 1's place. 3 plus 9 gives me 12. So I'm going to put a 2 and carry the 1. And 3 and 1 gives me 4. So 39 times 11 would be 429. Okay, so in my fraction, the top I'm going to write as 429. And in the denominator, I have 4 times 4, which gives me 16. All right, so to simplify this, I have to say, how many times does 16 go into 429? So you might want to set this up as a bigger problem too, right? 429, I want to divide that by 16. Okay, well, 16 does not go into 4. 16 does go into 42. Okay, well, how many times would 16 go into 42? Well, just two times, right? Because 2 times 16 is 32. So if I subtract that 32, that's going to leave me with 10. Okay, well, 16 does not go into 10, so I'm going to bring down the 9. And now I'm thinking, how many times does 16 go into 109? And I think it's going to be a little less than 7. Let's say 6. Okay, and then we're going to multiply that out. 6 times 6 gives us 36. So 6, we're going to bring over the 3. 
6 times 1 is 6 plus the extra 3 is 9. Okay, let's subtract this to see what we have left. 9 minus 6 gives us 3. I'm going to borrow this, and 10 minus 9 is 1. Okay, so that means that we had 26 as our whole number. So 26, and then we had 13 left over, right? We could say remainder 13, but that 13 remainder was out of a total of 16. So we could write that as 13 over 16. So this whole mixed number would be 26 and 13 sixteenths. Okay, two and three quarters times six and three quarters. Okay, well let's start by turning these both into improper fractions. Okay, so to turn two and three quarters into an improper fraction, I would have to say two times four is eight, right? So that whole of two could be written as eight over four. And then we still have another three over four. So when we add those together, we wind up with eight plus three or 11 over four times, now I want to do the exact same thing for this, I'm going to say 6 times 4 is 24, so that means the whole number of 6 we can think of as 24 over 4, and then we still have another 3 over 4 that we'd have to add to that, so 24 plus 3 would be 27 over 4. Okay, now we're, mo we're working with slightly bigger numbers here, so let's figure out 11 times 27 or 27 times 11. Well, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 2 is 2, and then I'm going to put a 0 in the 1's place to multiply by the 1 in the 10's place. 1 times 7 is 7, and 1 times 2 is 2, and then of course I'm going to add up my columns. So in the 1's place, 7 plus 0 is 7, in the tens place, 2 plus 7 is 9, and in the hundreds place, I have 2. Okay, so 11 times 27 on the top of that fraction gave me 297. In the denominator or the bottom, 4 times 4 is 16. So now I want to say, okay, to divide, I need to divide this and figure out how many times does 16 go into 297. And since that's not a super easy mental math question, let's write it out. 297 divided by 16. Okay, 16 goes into 29 only one time. Okay, if I subtract the 16, well, 9 minus 6 leaves me with 3, and 2 minus 1 leaves me with 1. And then I'm going to bring down the 7. Okay, and now I want to think, well, how many times does 16 go into 137? Okay, it's going to go in a little more than 8 times, so let's multiply 8 here. 8 times 6 is 48, so we're going to write our 8, bring the 4 over. 8 times 1 is 8, plus the extra 4 is 12. Okay, and then I want to subtract this to see what my remainder was or what I had left over. Okay, so I'm going to borrow this here. Okay, so 17 minus 8 is 9, and the rest would be 0. So I have 9 left over or a remainder of 9. Okay, so 297 divided by 16 gave us 18 as the whole number, and then I had a remainder of 9, or 9 left over, out of the next 16. So that would be 18 and 9 sixteenths. 